Last summer, the killings of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Ahmaud Arbery catalyzed an unprecedented worldwide mobilization, activating tens of millions of Americans of all races to demand institutional accountability and reform. As these images spread across the world, the right scrambled for a way to snuff out this transformative energy. And they think they found it by orchestrating a repressive censorship campaign. In Arizona, Idaho, Texas, Georgia, we are seeing school boards attempting to rewrite curriculums, teachers getting fired for educating their students about racial disparities, and potentially an entire generation being fed lies about American history. Make no mistake, what we are seeing now is a calculated backlash to last year's summer of racial reckoning. The right is gonna try to convince you that we need to ban critical race theory, intersectionality, structural racism, implicit bias, diversity training, and the 1619 Project. But understand that this organized, well-funded, and coordinated campaign isn't an honest debate about these ideas. Most couldn't even define what these ideas are. And that's the point. They wanna scare and silence our society back to colorblind submission where George Floyd and Black people's killability is just a natural, everyday feature of American life, unproblematic, unchangeable, and disconnected from the history of anti-Black racism. From the criminalization of abolitionist literature to the McCarthy-era witch hunts, we've seen the government respond to liberatory movements through the repression of anti-racist ideas time and time again. If you are concerned about these efforts to censor history, to muzzle anti-racist speech, to expand voter suppression and to criminalize protest, we urge you to join us in standing up for racial justice. We need to fight back like our lives depend on it because they do.